welcome back to my channel i hope you guys have been well yes i hope you guys have been well welcome back welcome 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 yes if i get this excited for my oldies you really know what is about to happen in this channel because i'm about to do one of my favorite things i love to do which is what reading the bible with you guys reading the bible with you guys yay yo yes <laughs> Oh my god, the Bible gets me so excited and so bubbly. So pardon me if you're first if you're new to this channel and you're seeing my face for the first time, please pardon me. But this is one of the things that gets me so hyped up and so excited. It is the time we spend together reading the Bible and sharing the word of God with you guys because the Bible is ever so green and it gives you this joy. It takes away any form of sadness, any form of blockage in your life. It's just so brilliant. I can't explain the Bible to you guys in one minute. It's just that all I know is that the life, the Bible, reading my Bible makes me happy, takes away any form of doubt in my life, any kind of confusion. It gives me more clarity to life. It gets me more focused. These are just the small, small things that will come to my mind right now. But I tell you, I, I will be lost without my Bible. I have it here with me. I always tell you guys, this is my, this has been my friend for the past 16 years. Coming to Europe, this was a gift I was given to. And it has never left my side. It has, the back has ripped. I've gotten a new back when I went back home. So this Bible has been my best friend for the past 16, 17, 18 years now. So... Make your Bible your best friend, like I always say. So today, again, without further ado, without going too much far, we're going to read the book of John. We're going to read the book of John 10.10. 10. I know we all know as a believer, as a child of God, or even as a baby Christian, one of the first scripture you come to know in the Bible is John 10.10. 10. The thief come to kill, to destroy, but I have come to give you life. We say the scripture very often and we meditate, we, we don't meditate on it, we just say it a kind of a, you know, one of those scriptures that you can easily call John 10, 10, the thief, the, the thief coming to, the Satan coming to steal and destroy, you know, the way you just say it, blah, 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 blah. But I just really want us to take a minute, pause, read the scripture and understand what the Bible is trying to say to us today. Yeah. Because the Bible makes us to understand that the thief, who is a thief? That's a question I want to ask us here. In the context of the scripture here, the Bible is talking about the good shepherd. Who is the good shepherd? Who is the bad shepherd? Who is the thief that is coming to steal and to destroy? Yes, we've read this Bible over and over and over. But we pause and ask ourselves the question that needs to be asked. Do we find answers to the question? Yeah, if you say the thief, who is the thief? You say, after the way you say is the devil, is the enemy of our soul, doesn't want us to progress, he doesn't want us to do anything. But there are other things that are thieves in our life that we'll never pause to understand. Like sometimes, your phone can be a thief in your life. Your phone, at the same time, can be a good shepherd to you. But do you ever pause and think about that? Because sometimes you could stay hours on your phone watching what doesn't add value to your life. You could go on TikTok or you just say you just want to watch one or two videos. Before you know it, you spend two, three hours on TikTok. Go to Facebook, the same thing. You go to Instagram, the same thing. You go to Snapchat, the same thing. So your phone has become a thief. But you don't see it that way. You all like to blame Satan to be the thief. Sometimes we heal ourselves, we are thief to ourselves. When you hear the word of God and you don't meditate on it, you don't act on it, you just hear it and it goes, that means that's you yourself, you're stealing from yourself. You're destroying yourself with your own hand. We could be that, that thief. We could be the people that are destroying ourselves. But do you ever pause and ask, ask yourself this question? That's one of the reasons why I love reading the Bible with you guys. So let's read the scripture again. Like I've analyzed few things that could be a thief in our lives already. Let's read. It says, John 10, 10 says, The thief only comes to kill, 
to steal, kill, and to destroy. When you read the Bible or when you listen to the scripture and you don't act on it, you're killing yourself, you're destroying yourself. When you stay on the phone watching what doesn't add value to your life, wasting your value, valuable time that you should be using to be adding value on yourself, that's you stealing time from yourself. Do you ever think of it that way? Open your mind. It's not only the devil that is stealing, stealing, killing, and destroying you. You yourself could be an agent of destruction to yourself. If you don't take time. The devil may not even be doing anything to you. All the bad, bad things, all the hindrances, all the obstacle that is coming your way you could be the cause of it it could be you causing destruction to yourself the devil may not even know your address but you're sitting down there blaming the devil because when it's time for you to be able to to really take action to plan think save do whatever you need to do to improve yourself so that you will not be killing yourself you'll not be stealing yourself stealing from yourself you'll not be destroying your future you're there wasting time is that the devil doing that? We're all giving 24 hours in a day. What you use with your 24 hours is your own business. You may let your phone steal seven hours out of your life. It's your own business. But that seven hours, I may be using it to make hair or to go to work or to do something that will give me more money or to add value to my life. So who is doing you? Is it the devil that is doing you there or you are the one doing yourself? Let's continue. And the Bible says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is Christ talking about now. Christ has come. Everything like one of the reading the Bible, reading the Bible with you guys episode with that we did. The Bible made us understand that everything pertaining to life and godliness he has given to us already. So if we are not making it in life, it's really important for us to sit down and evaluate our lifestyle, evaluate wherever we must have missed it or wherever we are spending time and we're not getting returns from, then we need to recalculate and replan our life. The Bible is saying that he has come to give us life and life more abundantly. That is the good shepherd. That is Christ. The coming of Christ. Everything that we need to have in life. He has put inside this Bible for us. Another way for us to be able to, un to achieve that is for us to open this Bible and read. Because if you don't open this Bible and read, you will not know the promises God has for you. You see that? Then the Bible went on to say, verse 11, it says, I am the good, sh I am the the good shepherd the good shepherd laid down his life for his sheep christ has already laid down his life for us christ is the good shepherd we're talking about here but are you willing to follow the instruction he has given unto you to follow in this bible in order for you to have life more abundantly in order not to let the things that he has put around us to bless us not to end up destroying us it's my phone I'm using to record this video. Like I said earlier, I can still use this same phone to destroy myself. But I can still save, use the same phone to do business deal, do so many other things. Do this video that I'm putting out for you guys to watch and I'll get so many views out of it and make money out of it. I can use it to promote my, my hair business, my hair, my... All other things that I do, the bonnet, everything I do, I use my phone to do it. But that the same phone could be an agent of destruction to me. So what I do you choose? How do you work it out? It's all up to you. This is why I say I love reading the Bible with you guys. And I say the Bible is evergreen. All the time I've been reading this Bible, I've never gone deep into it to even meditate to it as much as we did. But it's just one, it's just amazing whenever I sit down to redo the reading the Bible with you guys. The way the Holy Spirit just took over and speak through me and 
when I, even when I'm watching it back, I'm recalculating myself. I'm picking one or two things out of it. So I just pray that as you listen to this 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 episode of reading the Bible with you, that I hope you pick one or two things out of it. Just like I know for sure that I'm going to pick one or two things for it and redirect my life to make sure that I don't destroy my own life. I don't steal out of my own life. I don't kill my talent or the anything I have around me by not making proper use of it. The Bible is here to be our guide and protector, to lead us in the right path to go in life so that we will not kill or steal from ourselves or destroy ourselves. I always say, make this Bible your best friend and I tell you, you will never regret it. I've made this Bible my best friend. I have never regretted it. I have cried, I have laughed, I have danced with this Bible. I've said so many things to this Bible that no any other person can hear. Learn to build your altar and have a relationship with God. I tell you to save you so save you from making so many mistakes. I'm tell you guys a funny story. There was a time I was adding a bit of weight, and one of my pastors then told me that it's because you're not reading your Bible. Because when you read your Bible and meditate on your Bible very well, I tell you, you will not have time. You will not be hungry. You will not have appetite to be eating and eating and eating. You are eating and eating and eating is because you don't read your Bible. And I did come to realize that, yes, anytime I don't read my Bible as much as I do, I eat a lot and I add weight. Check this out. Make a routine for yourself for a week. That you read the Bible and you've been meditating on it. Trust me, you will not feel hungry. Because the word of God is food to your stomach. You will not feel hungry because the word of God will fill you up. The spirit of God will fill you up. That you will, you will be, you know the bubbly, the dancing, the joy that I was having when I was, I was about to read the Bible. That fills you up. You don't feel hungry. So that's for those of you watching it. That's another way to watch. Everything you need in life is in this Bible. <laughs> Everything pertaining to life is here. I just want you to open it and catch the remnant. Thank you guys for reading the Bible with me today again. I hope you've been blessed. Until I come your way again, stay blessed. And like I always say, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Stay blessed and I'll see you soon. Bye.